All right, people, before I get started, let me read from um, Luke chapter 6, verse 27. But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. That's why in my song that I wrote, I said, before I leave the house, I have to bless and not curse. It could be my last day. I could wind up in a hearse. So every day I pray, God lead my way. Guide my footsteps and let me never go astray. Keep me on a narrow right. Okay, I ain't gonna even go. But anyway, people, love will cover a most to the sins. He even tell you, hey, don't just do good to those who you expect to receive something in return from. Do good to all man. And he never said just be nice to Christian folk or believers or people of your denomination. <laughs> Come on, y'all. All y'all supposed Christians out there, remember this now. He said, hatred is like murderer. Now, who was a murderer from the start? The devil. So, one thing that the devil strives on is what? Hate. <laughs> How are the children of God made manifest in the children of the devil? Hate. Love. Hate. Love. Love. Hate. How do you know if you are a child of the most high God? Because you love. Unconditional love. I didn't say you can't get angry. The word didn't say you can't get angry. The Bible also says there's a time to love and a time to hate. But you got to understand, I did a video on that. God's time to love and God's time to hate. If the Holy Spirit dwells in you, it'll let you know. Not a personal hatred. Oh, I don't want to, I only love people that look like me. All you believers. White, black, Chinese, it don't matter. You see, I remember I grew up in an all predominantly African American, actually black neighborhood. I was never in Africa. Black American neighborhood. And all I knew was black folks. And then uh some compelled me to join the Marine Corps. And I remember we used to say a saying, we are all green. We are all green in here. All green, and that stuck with me. That teaching, we all green. You know what I'm saying? Let's say you walking down the street, and you see a white man just getting beat up. Do you help the white man, or do you start helping the black man beat the white man up? <laughs> Oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm just trying to take out something. Vice versa, anyway. What do you do? You sort of break it up or you join in? Are you a peacemaker? He said, blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall see God. If you read this word accurately and you study it and you pay attention, you're supposed to treat everybody the same. Whether they sin, whether they don't sin, whether they're homosexual, whether they're a murderer, whether they're a liar, whether they're adulterous, whether they... The, the list goes on. The Bible never told us to hate sinners. Mm. So that means we hate ourselves. Mm. And hatred don't produce the fruits of righteousness. I don't care what they do. I love them anyway. But guess what? I'm going to tell you what sin is. I'm going to tell you what the commandments are. But I'm still supposed to love you. You see, well, we got so many different type preachers and teachers. We got some people that omit the weightier matters of the law. Some people teach certain things and this and that. You know why sometimes I read a lot? Because I want you to see the whole story. I could have read bits and pieces of junk. That's what I was going to try to do. 
I was going to bounce around. But God put in my heart, read all of it. You got to read all of it. You understand? Christ is love. But he does not condone sin. Period. That's why we got to ask for forgiveness when we do make a mistake and slip up. Habitual sin. But he said, as a sin, you see, the more righteous you are, he said, the, the, the prayer of a righteous man, or a woman, but the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The more righteous you become in the eyes of the Lord, the more powerful your prayers become. But some people still ain't going to receive it. Like they, they couldn't even accept the Christ. They ain't going to accept you. It is what it is. But if they accept Christ and they accept the truth through you, they can be healed. They can be, your prayer can affect them in a different way. I always tell people, prayer goes up, help comes down. But help got to have a source to go to. I mean, it's got to go to somewhere. But if they resist the Christ, they're never going to get that help. Now, God does send uh, rain on the just and the unjust now. He helps everyone. But a lot of people just don't receive who their help come from. Only different from us, we know who our help come from. From the Christ, from the Lord, from God, from the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. That's why our help, and they are one. That's why our help come from. You see, God helps everyone. But some people just don't acknowledge it. They don't want his help. They don't think it's him. They resist him. They don't acknowledge him. But that's what makes us different too. We acknowledge the Son. We acknowledge Christ. That's what separates us from the real. That's why we call ourselves Christians. Followers of Christ. In return, follower of the Most High God. Because we follow after Christ. Same thing. I'm going to tell me on false teaching all you want. I just read it to you. It's up to you if you want to accept it. You don't have to. It's your free will. God giving you free will. But it's a lot of canes out there. Haters. Don't be a hater. The more hate you do, the more hellfire you're going to get. If you don't change. From your hateful ways. Somebody posted something. How are you going to talk about the fruits of the spirit and you black? What? <laughs> Boy, there's some crazy people in this world. And you know what God compelled me to say? God bless you. Why? But the Bible says that. And as you grow, you're going to start doing it naturally. Am I saying you're not going to talk about what's going on with you sometimes? Even if you don't do it verbally, you're going to do it in your head. You'll get mad about some of the frustrations that are going on in this world, some of the things that happen to you. It's going to upset you a lot of times. But be angry and sin not. A lot of things that go in the world, around the world, are going to upset you. Be angry and sin not. It's very, very simple. You can't reward evil for evil. I was telling my son that not too long ago. Last week, actually. You can't go around trying to avenge yourself for every time you get upset. One thing I tell my mom used to tell me back in the day, there's always somebody bigger and better than you. <laughs> and then there's somebody always bigger and better than them. You watch boxing, these people who think they can't be top, prideful, boastful, and then you know, they go in the fight and get knocked out in the first round. Pah! 30 and 0 to 30 and 1 that fast. Because they claim they was the best. They thought they could be the best thing smoking. And God knocked them right off their high horse every time. Plop. Deontay Wilder. I speak it. I speak it. I speak it. I live and speak. And then the Tyson Fury was like, you come upon me and my Jesus, you will lose. And he lost. Wow. Knocked that pride straight down his throat. You come against the two of the most high God. Those faithful ones. You better be careful. We ain't got to do nothing. Mm -hmm. We ain't got to do nothing. Just stay faithful to Christ and love anyway. Love will cover a multitude of sins. 
You know why a lot of people are going to be going to hell in a handbasket? Because they don't spread love. I'm talking about Christ-like love. Not love what you think is love. Christ-like love. Not love how the world gives love. Not peace how the world gives peace. Not joy how the world gives joy, but my joy, says the Lord. You know, the, the, uh, the pride movement, they spread love too. Love who you want to love. That's kind of accurate. But wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> Supposed to love everybody. But as far as sexual intercourse goes, marriage is honorable and the bed undefiled. Man and woman, that's not biblical love. So, if it's not biblical love, it's not true love. Do you understand people? Love people. Pray for those that spitefully use and abuse you. Bless those. Love your enemies. Does it make sense to you? But you know, we live in a world where everybody want to spread hate and love. Even Christians. You know, God, God came into our life. Jesus Christ came into our life and saved us and delivered us from so much. And we love him for it. And we love him so much that we want other people to experience the same forgiveness, the same love that Christ died on the cross for us with. And we can't do that by hating things. Yes, we can acknowledge sin. We can't make it judging because God didn't judge us when he accepted us into the body and grafted us in. He accepted us. You remember I told you the story about David when the, he was helping somebody out and he was on the run from Saul and the man disrespected him and David got mad and finna do something stupid and God stopped him. Got to be careful. You know, I'm learning to love everybody no matter what. And that's what I'm afraid. Love everybody with the truth, that is. Truthfully. They think us telling to spread the word of God, we spread hate. No, spreading hate is saying you can do what you want to do. That's spreading hate. You can love who you want to love sexually. That's spreading hate because it's spreading lies because there's no lies of God. That's all I got for you people. Have a blessed day and give your life over to Jesus Christ.